Here I am in, in Boys Town. This is one of the major LGBT communities in the Chicago area. And well, you may not find yourself living or really even interacting in a community like this, but no doubt you, like myself, we have gay and lesbian friends, neighbors, co-workers. As a Christ follower, you're very interested in asking the question, how can I make real friendships with people who are different than I am? And one critical point important about friendships is to understand that friendship is an end in itself. It's not a means to an end that we develop friendships not so that we can get something out of the person, but because we love them, because we care for them. And now for Christians, we think, oh yes, we should develop these friendships to be able to share the gospel. That turns the other person into a project. Nobody likes to be somebody's project. They wanna be a friend. They wanna be treated as a friend. And it's not just in the gay and lesbian issue, it's really all relationships. We tend to live between two absolute extremes. I mean, on one hand, it's just absolute out of hand rejection and condemnation. But then on the other extreme, we have sort of, can't we all just get along, put our differences behind us, pretend like there's no disagreements and, you know, just kind of a kumbaya sort of thing. The issue is engaging the person, loving the person, but allowing us both to hold on to and believe in our own convictions. For any Christian, I think the best place to go is to look at Christ. And John 1.14 tells us that as he came down from the Father to live among us, he came in and as grace and truth. He wasn't more grace than he was truth, and he wasn't more truth than he was grace. He was the balance of those things. And that we as, as Christ followers absolutely have to get that right. Always dealing with the person, the friend in grace, even the enemy in grace, but the issue itself in truth. Making sure that the two really do balance one another out. Truth without grace is really abusive. It can be abusive and often is. Grace without truth is really just kind of a mushy sentimentalism. But both of them together make each more powerful and authentic to what they are. 